Welcome to Vacuum Wars, where today I want to talk about a brand new robot vacuum from Mego Robotics called Ascender, which is the first robot vacuum that can climb stairs. After researching the Ascender this week, I found that it can do a lot more than just climb stairs, and I think it could represent a major shift in the robot vacuum world if it lives up to the hype. So links in the description, and let's get started. Mego Robotics has been documenting their journey with their Ascender robot vacuum on YouTube from the initial concept art, which went kind of viral a while back, all the way through the manufacturing process, and now their testing process. Mego seems to be a small company, but with talent from places like Google, Apple, and Dyson, and after watching all of their videos and reading through their website, I'm kind of rooting for them to succeed. They really seem like a likable crew with some big ideas. Let's start off with the stair climbing feature because it really is a revolutionary idea that could be a game changer for the industry. I think people want their robot vacuums to be fully automated. But stairs are the final boss, the final frontier with automation. If they can't do that, then the cleaning process can't really be fully automated, at least for people that have more than one story in their house. The Ascender lifts itself up with its adjustable arms, which can extend to different heights depending on the stairs, all the way up to 8.7 inches. It's also the first robot vacuum with omnidirectional drive wheels, and those wheels, in combination with its brush housing, which pivots 90 degrees, allows it to clean each stair laterally before moving on to the next stair. It has a 12,000 milliamp hour battery in it, which is twice as big as the largest battery I've seen in a robot vacuum. And they say it can clean 500 square meters per charge, which would also be the longest runtime by far of any robot vacuum on the market, or at least that I know of. It also has mopping capability. It uses a massive amount of downward pressure to clean tough stains, 17 newtons to be exact, which is over three pounds of pressure. And that's also the most pressure I've heard of a robot vacuum using by far. Sidebar, they demonstrated this downward force using a pretty cool test that I might try to copy later on. Because of its omnidirectional wheels and lateral movement and square shape, it allows for new and interesting methods of navigation. It can get into small openings, it has right up to the wall edge vacuuming and mopping capability, and even drifting-like behavior when navigating around circular objects. It also has a fully enclosed base station, which can wash and dry its mop pads, empty its dustbin, and refill its mop tank, all of the most up-to-date bin behaviors. Because it's enclosed, it makes it significantly quieter when emptying the bin, and it apparently allows for faster dry times on the mop pad. The navigation in AI is something that they talk a lot about in their promotional material. They claim to have one of the most powerful AI chips at 5 teraflops of GPU power, and it uses 6 times of flight sensors and a 720p camera for obstacle avoidance. They claim that their obstacle avoidance system can recognize 100 objects, which is higher than the newly announced Roborock S8 Max V, which only claims 73 objects. The Ascender seems to have many of the other things you would expect a premium robot vacuum to have, such as full app functionality with things like no-go zones, as well as a high amount of suction. They're claiming 9,700 pascals. Mego has been in the manufacturing and testing phase, but has recently announced that their Kickstarter will be ready this month. They say that the price will be comparable to flagship Roborox or flagship iRobot models. No word yet on when exactly it will be released, but from the looks of things, it won't be too far off. Vacuum Wars has made the shift recently to try to become your source for vacuum and robot vacuum news. You can go to our website, vacuumwars.com, for all the latest vacuum news on a regular basis. You can sign up for our newsletter or just follow us on social media to keep up with all the latest info. Links in the description and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.